welcome to the Scotty Goldmine Virtual Site Tour. I'm Thomas Mumford, Vice President of Exploration for Scotty Resources. The Scotty Gold Mine is located in northwestern British Columbia in an area known as the Golden Triangle, known for its world-class endowment of gold and other metal deposits. Scotty Resources holds over 52,000 hectares of mineral claims in and around the Port of Stewart, BC. Of that, about 8,000 of those hectares are associated with the Scotty Gold Mine project itself. The site is road accessible via the Grand Duke Hall Road, which is maintained by the local community of Stewart, BC in partnership with Ascot Resources, who is currently in the process of restarting the Premier Mill, just 20 kilometers south along the road. The Scotty Gold Mine hosts high-grade gold mineralization in a series of parallel, steeply dipping, northwest trending shear veins. It's a past producing mine that operated in the early 1980s. Production was primarily focused on one of the main veins, named the M zone. At the time, three additional veins were identified for potential production. The poor gold economics caused the mine to shut down before those veins could be mined, however. Our data-driven exploration approach over the past four years has allowed us to expand and identify new targets within the mine's periphery, extending the area of known mineralization in multiple directions. Two of these zones help link a geological model connecting the Scotty Gold Mine to the Blueberry Zone, located two kilometers to the northeast. The Blueberry Zone is a lower elevation road accessible target that we've been able to advance uh, quite readily due to the infrastructure in the, in the area, namely this uh, Grand Duke Hall Road that we're driving on right now. But we also have the mining infrastructure that was established during operation, including six portals and over seven kilometers of tunnel. Plus, our neighbor to the north, Predium Resources, built a transmission line to power their operating Bruce Jack mine. The power runs along the border of our property, just 1,200 meters to the east of the Scotty Gold Mine. We're here at the Blueberry Zone. The area has been worked since the 1970s, so we have a lot of data at our disposal. But the mineralization here can have a subtle expression, which has allowed us to make some key discoveries that went unnoticed in the past. We've identified broad zone of moderate to high grade mineralization, extending a long strike for close to 800 meters. This mineralized zone remains open in all directions, and we continue to test the extent with expansionary drilling. 900 meters to the north of the Blueberry Zone is the Ben Vein, which is located just over there, which holds a near-surface high-grade deposit of gold and silver, hosted in a pyrotite-rich vein system. Like the Scotty Gold Mine, our exploration approach has expanded the extent of known mineralization in this area by several hundred meters. And to the northeast of Bend is the Stockwork Zone, an area that's receiving more attention this year as we gather more data from geophysical surveys and surficial sampling and mapping. Finally, we have the Domino Zone, located just over the hill from the Scotty Gold Mine. The Domino Zone exhibits similar mineralization style, grade, and orientation to the Scotty Gold Mine, and it sits along strike two kilometers to the west. The Domino Zone is a pretty new discovery for us. We found it in 2019 when we were doing surficial sampling and mapping over on the other side of the Scotty Gold Mine, basically where the mineralization would project through the mountain and out to the other side. We followed that up in 2020 with the first drill program on that side of the mountain, and we came away with some nice high-grade intercepts, and we're following those up this year in 2021. With consistent high-grade gold results and excellent infrastructure, it's pretty clear why the Scotty Gold Mine Project is our flagship asset. We're sandwiched between Predium Resources' Bruce Jack Mine, which is located 25 kilometers to the north, produced 345,000 ounces last year of high-grade gold. And to our south, just 20 kilometers, is Ascot's premier project. That was once one of the largest gold mine deposits in North America, and it's slated for reactivation in 2022. Our partnerships with the local community, the Nishka Nation, our district-scale land package, and the newly identified targets it holds, as well as the drilling success that we've had over the last two years and into this season, all make for a very exciting story here at Scotty Resources.